having to actually own a macro lens. So if you were just wanting to try it out or get some creative photos or shoot some textures, this is the perfect kind of test field to see if you like it. Here's a shot of my actual key fob posed by mine. But needless to say, you have a ton mm. of fun with it. I'm sure you're going to enjoy nice it. Nice <laughs> It actually works guys! Wow, interesting! I'm sure some of the photographers out there know about this, but uh, this is something new to me. So uh, what happened is, Peter McKinnon says today in Tech Tuesday is that if you remove a lens from the frame, you turn it upside down, you can make it into a macro lens. It actually works! So I went out there to take a couple of shots, I took some of my car keys, I took a picture of uh, chia seeds, and I went out to my garden and take a couple of shots on the leaves and also plants and also some uh, rocks. So it turned out to be quite okay. And of course, the best quality you will get is to invest yourself uh, for a macro lens, but it will take a bit of money. So this will be an alternative. In case you need a couple of shots to get some macro uh, images, you can use this hack to get that couple of shots and post it in Instagram or in YouTube or in Facebook. Now the quality that I've gotten is not too bad, it's not the best out there and I'm quite happy with it. I think at some point of time, if I need to have uh, one or two shots of uh, macro images, I can use these tricks. So let me share with you my experience on uh, trying out Peter McKinnon's idea on Tech Tuesday. So I've uh, tried on two lenses, one would be a prime lens, it's a Sony uh, 35mm f1.8 and the other one would be a Sony 10 to 18 f4 so both are Sony native lenses so I've tried on both of the lenses there are advantage and disadvantage as well so first one prime lens it works but the problem is that when you're using a prime lens you turn turn it upside down and you put it near to your uh, um, frame or your body uh, when you move close to the object or the subject you cannot get it in focus. In order to get it focus, you need to remove your lens to the front or to the back. So meaning to say you are creating a gap in between your uh, frame or your the body and the lens. You have a gap in between. So when the subject is in focus, you take a shot, there's a lot of flare because there's a gap in between your body and the lens. The flare or the light just goes in. It doesn't look good. So that's the problem I face when I use or when I try it on a prime lens. However, if I use it on a zoom lens, it works perfectly. I put it close to the body and I went close to the uh, subject and everything is in focus. And the best part is in Sony camera, you can turn on peaking. It means that the subject is in focus. You take a shot and you have a look at the quality. It is not too bad. So that's the difference between the two types of lens, prime lens and also zoom lens. The more suitable one to be used is a zoom lens. Prime lens, nah, not really that convenient. Okay. Now, um, let's say if you're using a zoom lens to, to try out this macro shot, your hands have to be very steady because everything is so close. A small movement, you can get these blurry images already. Um, this is an OSS lens. However, if it's not attached to your uh, body, it will not function. I have uh, IBS on my A6500. It didn't really help as well because the subject is too close. Probably you need to have a tripod mount on your camera. You hold the lens very still and make sure that there's no gap in between so that no lights are going in. So you take the shot and I'm sure you can get a couple of shots that will be very very nice. Alright, so I've tried it, it works, you guys try it too. See you on the next video, bye bye. Woo, whoop.